Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week 3 assignment of the course programming in Java. Guys, for the past 5 years, we have been giving solutions for various NPTEL courses, including this one as well. So we tried our best to give you the most probable solutions, guys. So let us look at the solutions one by one. So if you differ with any of my solution, you can please give your opinion positively in the comment section. And if it if any solution change come to my notice, definitely I will update that in the comment section, guys. So please watch the video till the end without skipping because if I make any changes in between, you can be able to note that. So definitely like the video, guys, please, so that our videos will appear in the suggestions for other students as well. And they will also get benefited like you. So let's see the first question. What will be the output of the following program? So they have given this code and they are asking the output for this. So when I did this in my compiler, I have got the answer as option A guys, static method. Option A, static method. Next, second question. What will be the output of the below program? So this is the program they have given. So here they are using the inheritance, right? So here they are extending the super demo class. Means this class this block okay so for second question i have got the answer as option b guys error cannot assign a value to final vari variable a so mark option b as the probable solution for second question so if you see here they have given a equals 40 but already they have assigned the int a value as 20 with final keyword so already the value is fixed but if you are trying to give the value of 40 to the variable a it will not take so that's why error cannot assign a value to final variable a this is the answer guys probable solution these are my probable solutions guys so you can if you differ with any of my solution you can please give your positive comment in the comment section next third question all the variables of interface should be what? So interface variables should be public, static and final. So mark option C guys. Next, fourth question. Fourth question. What will be the output of the below program? So this is the program. So they are asking for the output of the below program. So for fourth question, option C seven and nine years. So option C is the probable solution that I have got. Next fifth one. What will be the output of the following Java code? So this is the code. So for fifth question, it should be option B guys, 3, 3. So mark option B guys. Next, sixth question. So before getting into the sixth question, I want to make a small announcement. So that is regarding exam preparation MCQs for the course programming in Java. So we have prepared the exam preparation MCQs case. These are the combinations of past years assessment questions with five years of NPTEL experience. We have collected these guys. So here you are going to get a huge number of 300 MCQs guys. 300 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. So in the past we have given for 500 rupees for individual person also one person also. But in order to reduce burden on students, we have decreased the price. We have to reduce the price from 500 to just 300 rupees only guys for one person it is 300 rupees only if you take it combinedly for two to five members it will be 500 rupees guys so all the persons who who are in the who are, who are in the group will get for reduced amount only so individually if you take it the price is 300 if you take it as a group for each group it will be 500 of two to five persons group guys so maximum five persons minimum two persons so if you take it as a group Combinedly, it will be 500 rupees. So if you divide the amount among the remaining persons, the individually you can get for less amount only compared to single person 300 rupees. Even if you are one person only to worry, you are getting for decreased price only 300 rupees only. 
so if you want to mail mail us then mail me to this email id guys pk179470 at the rate gmail.com so this is the mail id if you want to purchase guys so remember only if you are confirmed to make the payment then only mail me guys because many genuine students are waiting so that we have to respond for everyone and arrange everyone in the priority order so we have to look at everyone guys so only if you are make confirm to make the payment if you if you have decided that with your friends so please share this news with your friends so if everyone says okay then only make uh, collect the amount and for one person one person take the lead from everyone guys so that you can make the payment directly without any confusion so this is the mail id guys pk179417 at the rate gmail.com so i will give the same email id in the description box as well and that is the first one there is second pack also guys it is youtube membership pack so 100 plus mcqs only available in this youtube membership pack for one person it is 89 rupees and for one month only guys and we it available in video format only so if you want to purchase this youtube membership pack no need to mail me directly go to our youtube channel page so search s kumar edu in the search box so our page will appear like this so beside this subscribe button there is a join button right so click on this join button a window will appear like this so select the second pack videos only for members pack 89 per month and again click on join that's it after making the payment you will become member of our channel and you can get access to our members only videos here you can see we have uploaded many videos so you'll get all these course videos for the same price no extra price guys if you play, pay for one pack you can get I mean for one course you can get all the courses for the same 89 so here you can see programming in java part 2 prepared and part 1 also uploaded guys you can see all at once once you have purchased that case but my suggestion is if you are looking to take the certification uh, if you want to if you want the whole view of the syllabus so 300 mcqs will cover almost every week guys so 300 mcqs is the best plan if you want to prepare for the final exam if you want demo of just some questions you can get, take 100 plus mcqs youtube membership pack so already many students have taken our packs and got benefited guys so 300 mcqs google drive pdf restricted link if you want so for one person it is 300 for two to five persons combined it is 500 rupees guys mail me to this email id so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions sixth question if a variable of primitive data type in java is declared as final then what happens so for sixth question it should be option b its value cannot be changed next seventh question members which are not intended to be inherited are declared as what so it should be declared as private members so mark option c next eighth question if a base class is inherited in protected access mode then which among the following is true so for eighth question it should be option a public and protected members of base class becomes protected members of derived class so mark option a as the probable solution for eighth question now let's move on to the ninth one ninth question which type of inheritance leads to diamond problem so it should be option c guys multiple inheritance and moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th one so for 10th and final question it should be option a error this error so mark option a guys so friends these are the solutions for week 3 assignment of programming in java course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and definitely share this news with your friends and classmates guys and don't forget to take this 300 mcqs exam preparation mcqs pack or the youtube membership pack guys so that's it guys for this video so please discuss this with your friends and classmates and messages so keep supporting us like this so until the next video goodbye thank you